Hello, it's Gameli Rabbitoons.com. Tutorial number two, fire protection system. So, in the previous lesson, I mentioned that this architectural building that we have here has already inserted these components that are called spaces. It's just analytical model. And uh, I mentioned also that it was inserted with the analyze tab and this command. And it's some kind of like the room command in architecture. And uh, you have to watch the, the basic uh, tutorials, setup tutorials for uh, mechanical system. So let's continue now. We are going to create a schedule to put in a graphic the values of these spaces. So if you go back home, view, schedule, schedules and quantities, and let's look for spaces. So we have spaces here. So it's going to ask me which values that are stored in those spaces, which one do you want? It's all kind of information. So I'm going to select what I need for this tutorial. Now I'm going to choose area. I highlight it, add. You could highlight multiples by holding the control, shift, control key or highlighting from top to bottom and shift just like a Windows Explorer. So again I'm going to select area. Uh, oh I already put it. Label name and number. L label name. So I'm con uh, holding control key and number at Now let's say you accidentally put this one and you don't want it, you could return it with this remove. Now another thing is, let's go add another one that we don't need. Let's say you want it to move it up, it goes up. Or you want it to move it down, it moves down. And you want to remove it from our schedule, I could remove it. So let's organize number on top, then name, then area level, area down. So number, name, level, area. Now let's create a value that uh, by default we don't have it. So let's say calculated value for name minimum sprinkler make sure between these two formula is selected and make sure the discipline we want it to to be visible in the common area of the window dialog box that I will show you later and what type of value we will get it will be a number you could choose from this but for now uh, according to the formula we are going to use the result will be a number. Now the formula since uh, the building code that I'm using right now uh, the fire protection code requires for every 130 square foot one sprinkler So the formula will be area divided by 130. If you hit here, you have these this fields that are over here. So you could use an operation that you could multiply maybe one by the other one divided by another one. 
in this case I don't need to use those fields so I could just create my formula area which is this name I just need to use the same uppercase A divided by 30 or I could have done area the, let's say I didn't do that like that I say area divided by 30 this is more safe that way you don't need to type this word say ok so we have that already with the formula then I'm going to switch to the next tab which is filter filter by level and because this uh, exercise that I'm doing is on level 2 so I'm going to put here the property is already equal equal to level 2 and over here in the next line which is an, another property to filter in you say nothing none so what is that mean this filter is that you are going to extract information only from level 2 that's why I use equal level 2 alright and if I want to use two properties let's say I want anything that is in level 2 and also part of the name is bedroom so I could choose bedroom here as a room name room name containing bedroom because will be bedroom one two three so I should use containing uh, well in this case I, I is is different case here but it was room room name right here does not equal greater contains that's what I was talking about but in this case I don't need it all right so we are good now for sorting this is how we want to organize the chart which is the schedule so sorting by number and we choose ascending not descending ascending now we don't want uh, to use any other value to organize this so we use only that one we don't want grand totals and this is important itemize every instance which means give me information of every space if you don't select this it will give you a, a global number from all the space so make sure it's checked in now let's go to formatting minimum sprinkers click on this button that we are going to format this then uh, let's create our own settings here fix in units we use fix units and we want two decimals two decimal places and we don't need to change nothing else say ok say ok so he automatically create the table I'm going to do a title, title view here normally I have it here in my quick bars but it's not so I go to views and this is what I was looking for so I could right click and add it here to my quick access bar now I have it there but if you don't have it it's on their view right here and tile okay so what I was saying this information is extracted from this what you see on red which are called spaces so it's telling me 
the room number, the name of, of the, the room. Actually, this is not room number, it's a space number. And a space name and le level where it's located. And remember, we filter out in, filter in only level two. And it gives me the area and it calculates depending on the square foot for every 130 square foot they give me one sprinkler uh, let me verify that area divided by 130 so area divided by 130 is give me three let's see let's verify that okay so as you notice, it doesn't make sense what I said. And if I check my formula, let's go back to the properties. So, so I'm going to highlight again my my uh, chart, my schedule. Click editing any of these tabs. So it give me the option to go to the same tabs that I was. So let's go to the first one and highlight this and let's review the formula. So edit again. So here is my mistake. I, I was putting divided by 30 foot, no 130 foot. So area divided by 130 foot. Now it should have the correct number. Okay, now it makes sense. So for every two, for every 130 square foot of area of these spaces will give me one sprinkler. So in this case, I have more than one. 30 but less than 260 so I get 1.55 sprinklers so everything makes sense now now since we know how many sprinklers we we need in each room we could go ahead and start putting some sprinklers so let's start in the home tab sprinkler and look when I'm zooming to this corner it doesn't let me do nothing and the reason is because if you come back to this tab it's trying to look for a vertical face it has place on face or place in a work plane so obviously if I put in in a vertical face like right now it let me do that but if I want to do it right here it's not going to let me do it so I need a, a, a face now it is looking for the face of the reflected ceiling so I click and escape or click on this modify button so so it kicks inches so we have one so far and now because I didn't put tags to this space if I select it here I could see the name is office room number 201 and if you see 201 is this and it tell me 1.5 sprinkler head so let's put it in a in a good position and we could just copy so obviously it makes sense to put it perfectly in the center of one of those uh, grids so what I'm gonna do on on the home command there I'm going to create a, a plane which is manage Normally I have it in my quick bar at anything home. Okay, uh, because I don't have enough room here, I'm going to add it here. The reason is because my recording screen is too small. This is normally extended so I could find it really quickly, but it's okay. I'm going to create a 45 degree reference here and another one here so I could snap that let's move it to the side use the move command look how it hi highlights the in intersection of of the 
family. Now I'm going to snap first to one, then move again, and when it highlights the center, I, I will snap, I could say it's snap perpendicular, so I'll type without clicking or nothing, S, P, so it knows I'm looking for a perpendicular, and I, as soon as I put my mouse close and click, I put it in the intersection. Then. Now I have this. I could just copy. I, I all the basic tools you already know. So I'm going to use this intersection, and maybe here, maybe to the next one. So move from this intersection to this intersection, and it looks more kind of even. I I have one and a quarter on this side one and a quarter on this side, so we are good. Now let's do, we have one room. Let's do the next room. I could either touch this and use the create similar, or I could start from the beginning, click, click on the icon for sprinklers. And again, I have to switch to by face and according to this estimate it, it will be somewhere there let's see if I find an, another way to align it in this in the middle of the grid so let's go to modify align what happened if I it doesn't have an icon to to snap apparently, I'm gonna zoom in, zoom in, hit the line, try to, yeah, so I, I, the first click I didn't agree, the second one I could zoom until I see this, and I click on the other one, and zoom in, and when it highlights the reference line, now obviously it doesn't make sense, I wanna make it in the middle, but, because I have it there, I could say one foot, I touch it, click one time, one foot, click, and move again, click one time, One. I could move it anywhere, keep it straight by holding shift, then I let go shift, I type one, one foot, enter, so I move it to the center because this is two foot. Now I could copy at 10 feet of distance, so I could choose, let's say from here, where is 10 feet, right there is 12, in reality I want it at 12, because I measure from this face, if I measure inside to inside it would be more like 10, actually if I measure from this line to this line it will be 10 feet. right there okay so I have that for some reason the tutorial says use the command array I don't see right now the reason because it's only one one copy of those two uh, so I still could use it to see why so I hit the array command and I click one time and it asks you for the final reference and I'm using this and it tells you how many you want if you want three three rows it will put three rows uh, but it's outside the room you see so then I, I touch it and I rec I, I, corrected so it's two now notice that I have more space here than, than there but this because the ceiling is is not center I have I think proportionally good I could move it one more bay to this side but then I will have too much room here so I could align the grid in a better uh, more center way but I don't want to right now because that's not the purpose of the tutorial 
when I do the architecture I will explain that and so now let's copy this room since it's identical as that one I could just highlight the the two let's say I cannot highlight it for whatever reason I could just make a window but I had to zoom in so I don't I don't touch something that I don't want select it and with filters if you select something that you didn't want it you have this option when you didn't select two two types of, of objects you don't have the filter option but, but when you mix like in this case two sprinkler head and one reference line it give me the filter option that I say just keep sprinkles and remove reference plane so it tell me I have two items uh, so I, I'm going to copy and I'm going to guess my midpoint here and guess here and because I'm snapping to the grid so it's perfectly centered to one of those grids and one thing I didn't verify is this space is called look how it comes a flag office 202 but also I could see the property is office 202 so in the schedule 202 office it tell me 2.25 sprinkler heads are required because the square footage is 293 so so it's 2.25 times 130 square foot so it's not even 3 square foot uh, not 300 square foot, not even. Alright. So now let's do the, the big room right here first. I'm going to touch the, the space, the space analytical object here. So if you don't see it, it's hard to, to find it. So also you could type VG and means visibility graphics which is this name of this style of axe. and look over here spaces spaces and click on the plus sign and turn on the interior symbol and the, the interior reference cross now it's visible so now I could touch it and either look here and look for the name and the, the the space number so it's space number 204 and it's called open open space so 204 in my chart level name oh it's here 204 open chart this is see how it highlights when I touch it in the chart is red so it tell me I need 29 sprinklers 29 point 30 cents or basically 30 because I don't ha have a piece of sprinkler I have to put complete one full size so I'm going to copy one using this corner and according to to this plan I, I hit the other corner so I'm going to maximize here so I'm going to copy this in an array so using the right command and using this intersection to uh, hold shift so it goes straight like ortho in AutoCAD and I have to leave two full squares blank so I hit there and I need to type 6 as my magic number here which is here let's say I forgot and I click away so as soon as I click away it's done but if I touch one I could come back and say okay I, I wanted six uh, I blew it okay so now you see it's not even maybe I was grown maybe it was five let's see proportionally actually the problem is it was in the next bay right here so look if I highlight only that one and from corner to corner 
it doesn't look it doesn't lose the relation here so I still could put six and they are still connected together and they are adjusting evenly okay so now that's what I wanted now I want to copy in this direction so I will select all of them in maybe in a window right here if I don't have the symbol right here filter that means I select only sprinkles if the symbol filter comes that means I select other objects besides that and um, I will do the same thing the array command and say okay this I didn't even read uh, I, I, I don't care that warning because I use this command so I know I'm fine now look over here you see it says group and associate that's why they behave a group it like that in a group and, and they are associated when you move one they stretch now in this case I'm going to remove that because I, I just pan with my wheel button I just pan I'm going to lose the group but I want to make sure I put it in the last almost the last grid and I want to click right there click and it's telling me some of those objects don't touch the ceiling which is okay now I, I forgot to to type how many pieces I want and because I did select the 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 check mark that it makes a group I lose connection so I cannot adjust it so I'm gonna undo and select again so it's gonna tell me I will be off so I leave it on check because I wanted to check I just forgot one last thing so everything was fine I wanted here and say ok and again I, I forgot to put uh, I'm going to undo, to put my value ok again I forgot this so I changed I uncheck the associate this is the number I, I keep forgetting I need a number 4 here instead of 2 and as soon as I click away I cannot go back to edit like I did before so that's the disadvantage but everything is good obviously I don't want this outside the ceiling I don't want this and I don't want this in reality you don't need to do the way I did you could just always select and copy 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 so I'm going to put this tree this tree plus let's say I hold the control shift so I select two more and I don't need that and I'm going to use the same distance so I could use just copy so since this is the distance I want and copy again I forgot to say multiple copies so I have to copy one row at a time it's okay no big deal so now we could copy only two copy and from this corner to that corner will be the same distance and that's it maybe let's see how, how many I have I need to do a, a, a quantity sketch of, of my how many sprinkles am I putting uh, we do that in, in separate tutorial I guess but so far I could I could select here and see how many do I have so here my screen doesn't let me see a number here I'm gonna stretch it okay 30 I just stretch my window and you you cannot see it because my recording software is a small screen so I have 30 pieces already I, I already selected so all, all, all is good 
because we said 29.37 which is 30 so we are good so I need to to fill in the other rooms so I think these rooms are about the same size as this so I'm going to select these two copy and I should have choose copy multiple but I didn't so let's see this room I highlighted here to see what, what room is here is room 216 so 216 right here is this office is the bottom 1.78 so it's two so we're, we're good with two I escape and I highlight both and I I don't know what happened I thought I, I, I used the intersection of previously I used copy instead of move so I'm gonna de delete two had too many so again I want to use the same tool so I think I will stop recording uh, so it doesn't get too boring uh, I will place all the lights uh, all the sprinklers and then continue with the with the tutorial uh, for the next step I will pause it now we have two rooms with no reflected ceiling uh, acoustic reflected ceiling so this is uh, let's see what kind of room is this this is the stairwell and this is it's a bathroom so let's say this will have a non-hosted non-host oh actually that that is with reflected ceiling but this one it's a electrical mechanical room so because there is no no reflected ceiling uh, acoustic reflected ceiling there is nothing where you could grab the the sprinkler so it will be just the pipe exposed with the sprinkler head hanging so those are different types so I'm going to load one type that is not hosted in a ceiling since we don't have a ceiling here so if I do a section let's do a section a section here and so we will see like in this room this is more room there is no, no uh, reflective ceiling and over here there is a reflective ceiling also in this side so remember those sprinklers here that I place when I place it it, when I hit the command it, it looks for a face which I selected here and the face it was finding this the reflected ceiling now let's look over here that is the section notice that we have ceiling over here and ceiling over here so that this is level 2 so ceiling over here and reflected ceiling uh, acoustic right here so that's why this sprinkler was actually grabbing that face I'm gonna put it here, here now over here there is no ceiling where it could grab so I'm gonna close it so I'm gonna use a different type so I will use I, I will insert it first so insert command load a family Imperial uh, fire protection sprinkler and the one up right sprinkler. Say OK. Now it's loaded. So when I go back to the command sprinkler, you remember the last one you inserted up right half an inch. So it, it doesn't look for a, for a sprinkler head anymore. So if I click, it tell me I don't see it. I click again I don't see it so if I do do my section it's somewhere here right there 
and the other one is actually uh, on the side of the section so if I move my section here now we'll see both right here are both one and the other one so if I select both I could tell how far is from the floor so 10 foot 10 space 6 means 10 foot 6 inches so as soon as I hit enter notice that it put it above now I should be able to see it but because it are higher than this I don't see it so let's look my view range view visibility graphic uh, view range right here view range I'm on level 2 my section is cutting at 4 foot and I'm looking from from the plenum down so let's see what is plenum plenum is this so I'm looking from here down so that's why I don't see it because this is above plenum so I have to say look from roof down so let's close it again go again view range don't look from plenum look from from roof unlimited above so above le level above let's see here level above both needs to be extended because it was just looking from a foot above I could either type here 10 foot 6 inches or from above now I see it the thing uh, is to put your your visibility correct now I, I see it everything is good now in this case I need only one in this room and I will center it how I center it now I'm going to turn off this these uh, symbols I don't need the visibility graphic again I hit VG and let's turn the spaces spaces the plus sign I don't need the interior and the reference cross section cross mark so it was kind of uh, annoying all right now let's center this so I use the command dimension which is here in annotation but I, I have it in my quick bar and I'm going to look one of these two lines this one and to the center of this wall, to the center. I could do that to the face, but I, I hit the center, that's fine. And the mid line. Now I, I, I select the dimension, I say equalize it, so it's center now. Let's do the same thing in the other direction. Now I could do to the face, so to, to find the face, I could hit tab, 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 right there, tab, I hit the face. Now I hit the center and tab the face and I could right away center it now I don't need those dimensions I could delete it it's gonna tell me do you wanna remove the constraint say oh I, I should say no but I did say just keep it alright the center and we are going to do the same thing for this room actually this room uh, maybe not is not centered because it, it, ha it needs two so home is sprinkler I need one one here one one there and I have the same problem because I I didn't if I did this at the time I'm going to insert it if I put 10 space 6 means 10 foot 6 inches and I hit it click click now it's visible so let's put the section so we delete the, the one I I have it on the floor because I don't want it on the floor where is my section I'm gonna move my sections click here click here and let's go to the section and I don't need this and I don't need this because I put those at the correct height right here 
so I could put a smaller scale maybe half an inch ok so I close my section I have to so let's stop this video uh, number two revitunes.com sign up uh, so you could watch the, the whole series for free in YouTube it will be only few of the videos but not all of them you have to sign up revitunes.com get your password your username and enjoy thank you bye